Hey you guys, this is Tyler here. I can't let you guys know that I am going to be doing a first video of Katana. Um, now you guys do remember that I did a pseudo for Tails. Well, Tails, I still am going to be doing him. But um, Tails first, I'm going to have to remake up over because to me that feel like a prototype. And that one is sort of like too big because in certain videos then you see like his shoulders like a little more out or like a little bit going up that because my brother Marquis he had messed with the measurement for me and I just said nah, I think I might just recreate his but it shouldn't take that long anyway because I want to use um, Katana's fursuit body to get the measurement because his is perfect for me like my shoulders match up and everything matches up for me and you guys know that I am wearing a collar now I am officially a furry um, I'm supposed to get myself a t-shirt in though but I don't know if it might come in this week but anyway I am going to like show you the suit up but first I'm going to show you up all of his um, setups everything that he have Okay, so we're gonna get started right now. Okay, guys, here is Katana the Red Fox. Uh, everything on him looks very good. Um, I had just recreated his eye three times. Um, at first, I had like used uh, sort of like some fabric type of um materials in order for me to see through him though. But they did not look the good on him at first, so I just started off with foam. Uh, let me zoom in for you guys. Okay, see his eyes. And his right eye have a scar on there. But um, here are his ears. Now, I don't know if they like uh, off a little bit though, but I don't think people should recognize that though. And like his little points right here, I'm going to try to flatten that down some. His muzzle, of course. Uh, wait a minute. Sorry for the blurriness. The camera's messing up, though. But, uh, okay, there we go. Um, there is a few areas that I did mess up on him, though. So, like, his muzzle piece down here and almost, like, in the bottom area, though. But I don't think people should be too focused on that, though. But I don't have no clue what might happen when I go to Acon 23. Um, I wanted him to be like a moving Jotto, but um, uh, I don't know, you guys can see that though, but I had got his tongue. If you guys think I should put some teeth on here, you can at least comment me on that. Thank you. Okay. I got his, um, his Kino blades right here. Now, these I had just made. Um, these are like his second weapons, just in case. Um, the white part is the um, is supposed to be the blade part though, but I try to get as sharp as I can though, but I couldn't. Um, the black tip right there is the guard, just in case if you have the block, and just in case this katana ever gets um stolen, he'll have to go to um hand to hand combat because he is a martial artist. Okay. His katana blade. Uh, this his belt that he holds it on. I might do the same thing for his kino blades. Um, his katana. I hate that um that this part right here is loose and rubbery though. So I might try to um fix that part up though. Um, I do not know uh what type of material that I can use to hold him up, hold that sword up. So that it could be straight though, but if you guys also know about that, please comment me on that. I got here some arm sleeves. Or oh, here I just made them yesterday. Uh, the only reason I made arm sleeves is because I had looked at the picture and saw that a fox has black one of his um legs. So I just went straight on here and put black on him for his arms. Here are his hand paws. Um, I had just um, add the um, paws on there, all the um, little ones, everything seems to fit okay though, but except on this one right here, 
This one just like squeezed my fingers a little bit though, but it's okay. I'm not trying to make sure if it could cut my blood circulation though, but it doesn't seem to affect anyway. These are his um wristbands. I don't know why though. My brother said called it toilet paper because they thought of it though. But um, these like his blades that can hold his power inside though. Um, I don't know why I did that though. But anyway. Okay, get on for a little bit. His feet paws, and I just added his paw prints yesterday. These are his paw prints. Um, he got three toes. Uh, I had add the little um, in between markings on there. Like all I did is had sewed it up from top to bottom, uh, top to bottom, over and over and over again. So it'll be able to have a nice strong hold to it. Okay, and last but not least, his body. Now his body was okay at first. Everything is, is in place. Um I just hate that on the back side though. Um every time I try to put it on, it's on like it try to wear us out though. I will try to at least put some fabric up over there, like on the inside of it. So that it'll be able to cover it up though. So that in case it ever rips, it won't um happen for it. It won't happen for like everybody to um see down in my area though. It it's not in this area at all. It's just um in the back where my tail is at though. But the tail should cover it up. Okay, I am gonna be getting ready to put on Katana the Red Fox. It should be a little easy though, but except that I do not have my brothers with me because they always tell me like put my zipper on. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.